I just arrived at the airport. I gotta go get my bag and then I'm getting in a car on my way to my Airbnb. Okay guys, so I just got to the club and it looks like I'm the first one here so let's show you around because there's nobody else in here. All of the dresses that the house mom sells, oh, just a whole lot of vanity mirrors, big ol' empty room. Hi Christina, I love you, you're super cute. Okay guys, so it's currently 6.45 and there's only one other girl here at the club with me um, and she's out on the floor already because I think there's just like a couple of dudes here and then I'm gonna be a while until I'm ready so no money for me, at least not yet. I'm gonna do my best to hurry though. By the way, I forgot to mention it is a Saturday night so first night back at the club Saturday. Let's get it. Let's hope it's good. Hope we make a lot of money tonight. Hey guys. It's 11:52 and I am beat. I'm so tired. I don't know if I can do this all night long. So I'm really, really sorry I didn't record a money count when I got home from work. It is actually now Sunday night around 8 p.m. I was so tired and it was a long day for me. So sadly, for it being a Saturday night, it was not good. It was dry as hell. There was no money coming in from anywhere, for me at least. I felt like there were other girls that were getting money but I don't know what it was, but it was just not my night. It was so strange. Um, so I have my money right here in my bag and I'm gonna count it for you guys, but I really don't think it's gonna be as good as it should be um, for it being a Saturday night and for how long I got there or for how long I was there. So I got there, like I said, around 6 p.m. I didn't go out on floor until about seven or so because I was still getting ready in the back room. Um, and then by the time I went out on floor, it was, there was just like a couple of people there. So it really didn't pick up until, I don't know, like midnight. And then even then it was just the same. It was literally like the same people for like a whole ass hour and a half. Like new people hadn't been coming in for a very long time. So it really was kind of a bad night. Um, and then... <laughs> I couldn't believe this. So I, I'm on stage for the first time yesterday, like for the first time of the night. And it was like really early, so there was nobody there. There was three people sitting at the stage. So there was two guys that were sitting together and they were like over on this side. And then there was one other person who was sitting like over on this other side of the stage. So I go up, I start dancing, I'm doing my thing, and then I went in front of these guys over here and danced for them, like, in front of them. And so, one of them, you know, he, like, gave me some money and, like, just threw it on the stage. It was, like, bunched up like this, and he set it down on the stage for me. And so, I'm dancing there for a little bit, and then after some time, like, they just stopped tipping. So, I'm like, all right, like, you know, that's enough. Like, I gave them their little show. I'm gonna go and dance over with this person. So I left and I went over here. Um, so I start dancing and then the DJ announces that it's um, like the next girl's turn to go up on stage. So I start grabbing my money over here. And as I'm doing that, I looked back and I see this guy, the one that put his money right here, reaching for his money and he took it. He took it. So I looked at him and he, he like, I saw him and he looked right at me when he like was grabbing the money off the stage. So it was kind of like this awkward moment, like, 
the fuck are you doing, you know? He looked at me and so I kind of just like rolled my eyes like, are you kidding me? Like, what's your problem? So anyway, I'm grabbing my money over here and I was gonna go over there and pick up my money, but he took it off the stage. So I was like, all right, whatever. So then I'm walking down the steps because there are steps to get on the stage. So I'm walking down the steps and then this guy, he came all the way around and met me where like at the steps and he handed me the money back and I'm like looking at him like confused as hell and he spoke to me in Spanish and he said, oh, it's cause you left. Like he took his money back because I was dancing for them and then I left to go dance over here. I was like, like I, it happened so fast. Like I grabbed my money and I just walked away. But I honestly, I wish I hadn't even taken it. Like I should have just been like, you're cheap as hell. Like, please keep your money. I don't need it. Um, I just thought that was so annoying. Like who does that? Like you don't tip someone like for their services or anything and then be like, mm, like I'm second thought. I'm not satisfied. Let me take that back. Like, no, like you don't do that. It's so weird. I'm like, whatever dude you're fucking weird like i'm gonna stay away from you because obviously your cheap ass had to keep had to take back your four dollars because i like left i don't know i just thought it was so strange that that happened um but it's funny that that happened early on in the night because basically that is what happened to me it's like a good summary of how the rest of my night went so oh sorry i'm not even counting my money um so basically, I hadn't made and like I wasn't making any money and it was getting like later. It was like midnight. It was one. It was two. It was three. And then I was like freaking out because I'm like, I'm running out of time and I'm just not getting any money tonight. And I tried my best. I talked to so many different people like I did my thing. I did what I had to do. And I honestly want to say that the most money I made was on stage. Um, and that's just like people just throwing ones like when you get dances usually that's like where you make all your money and especially champagne rooms um so i really hadn't made any money um basically i would go on stage i would do my thing and so many people like so many people would come up to the stage they would talk to me like they would give me money and they're like hey like i really like you um could you come give me a dance after you're finished so that happened to me multiple times with several different people so I was like, yeah, of course, like, where are you sitting so I can come find you? And so as soon as I was finished with stage, I grabbed my money. I went to the back room because if it's a lot of ones and you like have to gather them fast, like so that I'm not wasting my time back there because I need to hurry up and go back on floor to like go up to those people that wanted dances for me. Like I don't want them to get like taken by another girl or something. So what I do is I go to the back and I have like my little money bag. I just throw all my ones in there. I don't even like fix them or anything. I'll throw them in there and then I'll run like back on floor. So I feel like that's a pretty good tip, I guess, so that you're not wasting time in the back room trying to like gather all your ones. You could have a house mom do it, but I just feel like I don't ever want to bother them because they do so much. So I'm like, it's it's not necessary. Like I'll just throw it in my bag and then like run back out on floor and find the, those people that wanted to dance. Um, anyway, so I did that, and by the time that I got back out, like one of the one of the guys that wanted to dance for me, he was already talking to some other girl. She was like sitting on his lap. So I'm like, fuck, like I'm not gonna go interrupt them. Like she's making her money, so you know I'm just gonna come back to him later. Um, another guy who wanted to dance, I go up to him and he's like, oh, hey, like, yay, like, I'm so happy you came. He's like, but really quickly, like, I'm gonna go take a shot with my best friend, it's his birthday. And then so I'm like, okay, yeah, like you do you, go take your shot. He told me to come back later, so I'll, you know, I was gonna come back later. I go to the next dude that wanted to dance for me and he's like, oh, hey, like, I'm so sorry. He's like, I'm rolling, like, I just took something and it's hitting me, like, differently or hitting me hard, I don't know. I don't really know what he meant, but basically he like said he needed a second. So I'm like, what is going on? Like, I didn't understand. Like I had all this money that was gonna go towards me and then suddenly like it didn't happen. So it was so annoying and you know, it is what it is, but I just like, I couldn't believe that kept happening to me. Not once, like not just with one person, but with multiple different people. So that was really like, I don't know. But then a little bit throughout the night, I 
was talking to this one couple who really liked me and they were super nice. They bought me my first drinks of the night. Usually I get drinks like early on um, just because people always offer like, oh, like let me get you a drink. Like you're sitting here talking to me, you know. And I always take one. I don't drink a whole lot when I'm there because I don't want to get drunk on the job. Um, but I do have some drinks with them to feel like, because then they feel like you're having fun with them. Like you're having a good time together. But it also helps me personally like loosen up and unwind. And like when I go up on stage, I feel so much more confident. Um, so I definitely always accept drinks. Um, but I only have like a couple throughout the night and if I have a lot they're spaced out throughout the entire night and I have water in between so like it doesn't really phase me like it doesn't get me drunk it just kind of keeps me on a buzz throughout the whole night um, but anyways so this um, couple they bought me my first drinks of the night and it was already pretty late I want to say it was like 3 a.m. so the club closes at Technically it closes at 5 a.m. but they stop like they stop the music at about 4 30 and they start kicking people out at that time. So it was already almost the end of the night and I <laughs> I had my first drinks of the night. I had two of them. My go-to drinks are vodka Red Bulls because it tastes really good. I love vodka Red Bulls. Um, but I feel like it gives me some kind of good energy. I know it's such a bad drink to have, but it just gives me like really good energy and I don't know, I love them. Anyway, I'm not even counting. I'm just like throwing my money out on the table. Um, so I'm just gonna start counting it now. It looks like these ones right here, I counted them last night and they are all stacks of 25. And so Obviously that right there, it's gonna be a hundred. So I'll put those together in a second, but I'll go ahead and count this really quick and section that off too. So, so I will just section off my bills. Actually, it looks like they're already kind of somewhat organized. Okay, so we've got 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, and $38. So that's honestly a lot better than I thought I did. So I'm kind of like... So unfortunately, I did not film an outro. I apologize for the abrupt ending, but I hope you enjoyed this vlog. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.